Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbuli, and in this video, we are going to see about what is internal and what is external IP in GCP. So, if you are new to GCP, you definitely would have this question like, what is the difference between internal and external IP in GCP? So, this concept is not only related to GCP, but it's a very in general concept in a networking. So even if you are using your uh, laptop, your laptop will have two different IP addresses. That is one is an internal IP address and second is an external IP address. So your internal IP address will get assigned to your laptop whenever you connect it to your Wi-Fi and external IP address will always be useful when you are accessing the internet. So let me show you one simple example in our laptop. So I'll just open a PowerShell here. okay and here if i show you ip config or ip configuration of my laptop okay so you could see one ipv4 address 192.168.1.3 so that is internal ip address of my laptop so which is assigned by my uh, internet provider or a router now what is external IP address so for external IP address your machine or your laptop won't know or won't store that information inside your configuration so you have to check on the internet so here you just simply type my external IP and there are multiple sites available which will show your external IP address so this is my external IP address so I can verify it on couple of sites so it should be ending 179.101 so let me check on another site so let me check on this site okay so it will show same everywhere so you can check anywhere what is your external IP and it will show you your public IP so there are different website which will help you to find your external IP and all will show the same IP address so that's is all about your uh, like local laptop configuration now we'll come to GCP and we'll see more about internal and external IP so just for demo I'll create one simple virtual machine okay I'll just give the demo name here I'll scroll down and now I'll coming to networking now I'll choose a network so if I keep default network so it will get the sub network by default so if I choosing the default network it will change the IP address internal IP address from this range 10.122.128.0. something so it will take this from this range now let's see I'm keeping the default network and my internal IP address will be 10.128.0. like something like 6723 whatever the last number will be and here you could see two options so suppose if you want to give any specific IP address from this range you can give in a custom section you can enter IP address from this range okay but I'll just keep it as a formal a formal means it will take a available IP from this range same for external but you cannot put a custom here you can reserve once it is allocated either you can put none so having external IP is completely optional but for using internet we'll need a external IP address so we'll just choose a formal for now a formal again it will just assign a available IP from the range and just I'll click on create so now VM will get created with the two IP address so as I said the internal IP created from that range 10.128.0.15 and external is any available IP from the internet okay so one more thing so private or internal IP address has a three range defined so so these are the three range so your internal IP address is always from this range either from class A so class A is 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 from 
and then till 10.255.255.255 so that is your class a class b starts from 172.60 and class c start from 192.168 so all your private ips are within this range even if i go to my laptop so it is having 192.168 which is a last one class c and currently my virtual private cloud having this subnet range and the internal ip you could see 10.128.0 so that is a class a now i log into this virtual machine now i'll check ip address here internal ip so here you could see and this is a internal ip address of my virtual machine and if i want to access a internal so just suppose i want to just ping google.com i can get a response okay or if i call I'll immediately get a response now suppose I won't have an external IP address so let me stop my virtual machine and I'll edit it so let me stop let me go inside my virtual machine now I'll just edit it and here we had option to take external ip address as a none so we will go here and for external ip i will choose as a none so i am not having any external ip once i start my virtual machine I'm saving it now and let me start my VM I'll just start it okay VM is started now let me log in into the VM now let me do the same operation so I'll try to ping google.com and it will not work now because we are not having external IP address so ping won't work here we'll wait for a couple of seconds and it won't work so we'll close it okay so now how your communication will happen inside your vpc and to the internet so i'll just go to my board here and just take an example so you have one a vpc so this is your vpc and inside your vpc you have created one virtual machine and you have created one more virtual machine so these two virtual machine can communicate with each other using the internal ip address but suppose if you have another virtual machine uh, another vpc and inside that you will have one vm so these two cannot interact with each other with a internal ip address so how that will interact so that will first go to public internet so just assume it will go to public internet and from here it will interact to your this virtual machine and to use internet you will need the external ip address and suppose if you want your both of the virtual private cloud and their resources should communicate with each other you will create a vpc peering so that is the concept of vpc peering once you create vpc peering from both the end then these two machines also interact with each other using a internal ip address but 
only the resources in a same VPC can interact with each other using the internal IP addresses and your internal IP addresses is not known or is not of any use outside your VPC network. So that's it for internal and external IP in a GCP. So if you have any questions or doubt, just let me know. I'll try to answer it in the comment section.